Hey guys, Ian from Muscat here, here with my round five of our 2019 NAIC format from our Discord, our old format Discord. I'm on the left playing Abilities Art, and on my right, my opponent is playing Zor Dugong. So uh, this is round five, so our records are currently 3-1. Uh, if whoever loses this match is, is eliminated from a double elimination tournament, uh, the winner does go on to the finals, the losers finals, to see who plays the um, to go to the championship. So uh, it's a big game. Again, our records are three one. I'm on the left. Uh, we're flipping. We're setting up here. And yeah, uh, while we set up, guys, if you guys can check me out on social media at Muff Squad NJ, I'm on Twitter, Instagram, Twitch TV with the same handle. Uh, I appreciate it if you guys give me a follow. Uh, follow back i uh, want to hear and meet some new faces and also if you're interested in playing some old formats please join our discord uh i'll post a link to this discord in the description of the video and it's a good time we usually do webcam we do a bunch of different formats so uh, it's a good time so um yeah look forward to you guys joining so we're going to go ahead and set where it looks like we're done setting up here my opponent's going to start giratina and i'm going to start a let loose mars shadow so i believe my opponent is going first here uh, we both actually have starters that we do not want to start with so uh it's interesting to see so um it's kind of good that he did start the giratina because uh he can't really take advantage of the distortion door right away because he can't like trade it away so it looks like he does have the ultra ball and again in this format you were allowed to support or turn one so Ultra Ball for Lele using Wonder Tag to find a supporter was very common and a very great way to start your deck and start your match. So most likely we will be seeing a Tabu Lele for a Wonder Tag here. And there is the Lele, so um, he will be using Wonder Tag. And just to su uh he's shuffling here. I'm wondering if he's going to probably play some cards before he uses the Wonder Tag to search his deck. Maybe he has like a, uh, a nest ball or yeah, I don't know why. Maybe, yeah, I don't know why he's shuffling. Maybe he wants to just, maybe he has some cards he wants to play before he goes back into his deck. So he is just going to wonder tag. Okay. He's just going to wonder tag, gets to search his deck for supporter card. Zorark decks in, during this format usually wanted to see Professor Elm's lecture and that supporter says yeah you can search your deck for three Pokemon with 60 HP or less but instead he's going to get the Lily so in this format uh, Zorark's decks it was kind of a opinion or, or based or like a preference some decks played the Professor Elm's lecture or some decks played the Lily Nest Ball engine where Lily obviously going first, you can draw up to you have eight cards and then you just play a lot of uh, ball cards such as Nest Ball, Ultra Ball. So, uh, you know, you can just get your, find your, you could just draw into your basics as well. So our opponent is playing the Lily's version for Zorark. So probably gonna see a Lily, probably gonna wanna draw into some basics or Nest Balls off of this. I'm not sure exactly how many cards he's drawing, maybe five, I wanna say. So he has a hand of eight right now. Let's see if he gets any basics out of this Lily here. Or Nest Balls. She want, you know, uh, Zorak is an evolution deck, so he wants to obviously see some Zerua's down. I think he's just gonna pass. Yeah, we're just gonna see a pass here. So uh, it's unfortunate he didn't get any basics or balls out of that uh, Lily, so he's gonna see a hard pass. On my turn, I'm gonna play a Nest Ball. Probably gonna see a a Growlithe or a Reshizard coming down here, or maybe even an Eevee Snorlax. So my deck plays two Eevee Snorlax, and Eevee Snorlax is just a great card against Zoroark decks because uh, for the 400 Gs it does 240 for, it, uh, does 240 to Evolution Pokemon. So I am going to attach the active. I'm going to bench my Tapu Lele, use Wonder Tag. I'm probably just going to grab Kiawe or a Welder here, but most likely Kiawe. Uh, yeah, I am going to grab the Kiawe and just grab four energies and put them onto my Reshizard. And just like that, I have a Reshigard ready to go. So, uh, I'm already uh, able to use Flare Strike for 230. Able to take out these knockouts on either that Lele or whatever he starts benching that I feel like is a threat. I can start targeting those as well. So, uh, this deck... 
was kind of a, it's called it was called abilities art because it played like Dedene and Lele and Jirachi just using abilities to dig to just find Guzma. I mean, find well, there's or Kiawe's turn one. So it just it's like just an aggro deck just to find Kiawe's turn one because uh, you can just you know you can burn your first turn by just playing Kiawe. Your turn ends after using Kiawe, so just accelerating four energies to power up a uh, Reshi's art is just kind of insane. As you can see, it's kind of hard to, to catch up to this. Uh, now my opponent, you know, has to start benching. He has to evolve to even to make some threats. So right now, I, he played Pokemon Communication. I, I really didn't get to see what he put back in the deck, but he is grabbing his Aru. He's gonna get his first Aru on the board. You know, he wants to obviously turn those into Zorark GXs to start using trade his trade ability to start drawing cards, thinning out his deck, getting rid of bad cards he doesn't want, and just to start furthering his setup. So he does play a Dugong, so um, it's going to be a little annoying because it could it, it does 60 to 2 Pokemon, but uh, with Choice Fan onto my Reshi's Art, it could possibly do 180 and then 60 to something else, so it, it sets up good math. For example, he could put he could do 180 to my Reshi's Art and put 60 on the Marshadow that's active and then uh, like um, ping it later with the Giratina or something, or just... Do, or, or two shot it with the an, another 60 60 so he just gets the zero and i believe just passes so i'm gonna play heat factory i'm gonna activate heat factory discard a fire draw three uh, i'm looking for guzma here uh, if i could get guzma to kill i think i just kill lele so i do get an ev snorlax -like down so i'm gonna set up a secondary attacker here i'm gonna do dene getting rid of three welders which is rough that's really rough like right there but you know at this point, uh, I'm kind of not behind, so like uh, I could just get an attachment down still onto the Eevee Snorlax, and I, I have time to um, eventually set that uh, Eevee Snorlax into something. So I'm just going to retreat into Jirachi, burn the energy. I'm looking for Guzma, so I'm going to Stellar Wish, see a Choice Band and an Ultra Ball. Uh, probably going to just grab the, cho I grab the Choice Band. Uh, I don't have any more digs. So this was kind of greedy on my part because, you know, in hindsight, just benching all these Pokemon on my field just to looking for a Guzma kind of is going to cost because now I have 270 HP Pokemon. I mean, I started the Marshadow, but now, um, so I'm just going to retreat into the Reshizard. And I'm just gonna flare strike killing this Tina, and I, I really didn't want to kill that Tina because now he has access to Distortion Door, and he's gonna it sets up good math for him, for like Dugong. So I wish I, I would have preferred to kill even the Zeru or the Lele, obviously, but you know killing that I want the Tina on his board. I don't want him to abuse it. I'm not even sure if he plays like Nanu, where Nanu says like you can switch a basic Pokemon on your board with a dark Pokemon from your discard pile. So. Regardless, he probably could have gotten rid of the Tina eventually. I know some of the Zoralists of, of that era and that format were playing on Nanu at that Nats. Which is pretty good. You know, you could take away a Lele and turn it into Zorua, take away a 2 prizer for a, 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 a Dark Pokemon, basic. Uh, so he's gonna he's gonna evolve to Zora, he's gonna trade away a Field Blower, discard a card, draws two. Um, so right now, a DCE could hit for 120 damage, which is kind of annoying. Uh, Lele is a good attacker in this scenario right here. I Flare Strike too, so I can't use Flare Strike again. So if I want to kill this Lele, I'd have to use Double Blaze GX for 200 damage, which takes the knockout. But my opponent's actually going to play an Ultra Ball and an S Ball at once, so... Um, he just... To, just to save time, he's just going to play both now. So he puts one to bench and one to hand. Um, I would imagine he's going to start getting some other either Zerulas or Seals down or maybe even a Ditto Prism that can turn into any of his uh, stage one Pokemon that he plays. So let's see what he ends up grabbing here. I think he probably, yeah, he's going to grab a Seal. Uh, I don't think it matters if that was a Nest Ball target or Ultra Ball target. I mean, it only if, it only matters really if it's like a a Pokemon with like an ability that has an ability that when, it only comes active when you bench it, when you put it into play, because uh, Nest Ball just goes straight to bench, so it'll bypass abilities. And he's gonna grab a zero, so it really doesn't matter um, Ultra Ball or Nest Ball. They're both going to his bench regardless. Um, 
just furthering up his, his setup and his board. Again, he obviously the a deck. You want to get multiples or GXs in play to abuse trade. You know, trade ability to just draw cards, discard bad cards out of your deck, thin out your deck, um, see as many cards as you can. And yeah, that seal is obviously going to become a Dugong, which does hefty damage and sets up good math for my board for multiple prize cards and double knockouts. Especially with the Giratina being in his discard pile. So for example, when Dugong, when he has a Dugong turn, he could just Distortion Door, put 10 on Mars Shadow and Jirachi, and then do 60-60. Um, and taking two prizes easily. So, I mean, it just for him to take multiple knockouts is, uh, is very strong. And that's why I kind of didn't want to kill that... Uh, I didn't want to kill that Giratina, but he's just going to pass. He doesn't have the DC, so we're not going to see an energy drive here for 120 damage, uh, which buys me a turn. I'm going to attach another energy to that EV Snorlax. I'm going to discard a fire with Heat Factory, draw three. I definitely want to see a Guzma. I'm still looking for that Guzma. I think if I have Guzma, I kill the, the Seal because, again, I don't want him taking multiple knockouts. And seal hits hits free, so I am gonna Guzma the seal. I'm gonna bring up a Jirachi. I get I get a free Stellar Wish out of it. I probably have an Escape Board or a Switch in hand if I'm doing this. I do get the okay. So I'm gonna grab an E board here. So I, I probably didn't have Switch, uh, but I could have probably. No, I attached for turn already. So interesting that I uh, I, I probably had a Switch here. And just play to save by play, saving the switch because if I use flare strike, I could just switch out of it to reset the uh, flare strike so I could attack again. So I think E board was good here. I mean, I did see a Guzma. I would have wanted the Guzma for the following turn as well. But I'm going to use flare strike, go down to four prizes, killing that seal. That seal is a big threat. He's just going to promote the Lele again. He's definitely going to want to find DCE. Just energy drive put a nice chunk of damage so he's gonna trade away a poiple draw two cards um definitely gonna want to get some more basics down as well does get the ditto down so that could become a dugong he's gonna rescue stretcher probably get seal back to the bench so my last turn just kind of kind of just was gonna erase because uh right back where he, where we were at the beginning of his turn uh, my turn last turn he now he has a seal and now even a ditto so this is good for him for his setup because either way if i target the seal on my turn uh now that ditto just becomes a dugong so kind of just almost guaranteeing for one of these pieces to become a dugong and that's if he grabs a seal here from the rescue stretcher i mean i would imagine we're going to just see a rescue stretcher for one to hand and he grabs seal then he's just going to bench it i mean he could play rescue stretcher three to deck but uh, i don't think he really needs poiple anymore um, yeah, the Poipo, I think, because I, he's going to grab the seal to, to hand and bench it. I believe he still has a, tra a trade that he hasn't used. Or did he trade? He benches a Meowth as well. So that's really good, because now if I target, like, kill Zorark, he can just evolve to Persian and use Catwalk to find and two cards to find the Dugong. Uh, TCE combo so he's just gonna energy drive for 120 also putting a great amount of damage onto me which is just strong because even if he does want to go the singer GX route he now has the damage the strategy for these decks were to hit the Reshi's are for uh, quite amount of damage stinger GX and then finish that off he could he could ride his speeding with the choice panel for 150 or hit with the um, Persian GX's uh, GX attack which is, I believe, uh, Slapback or something. Slashback for 150 as well. So he has a, a couple ways of doing 150. Uh, he could even do an energy drive with the DC and a choice band as well for 150. So uh, the singer play could still be open to him because that Ditto Prism could very well become a Naganado GX. Even though we did see the Poipole hit the discard pile, again, he has a seal, he has a Meowth, he has tons of options right now so he kind of stabilized his board to exactly where he wants his board to be here um i played a fiery flint just thinning out getting some fires out of my deck uh gonna have some fire energies i'm gonna attach for turn i also probably get to heat factory here as well i get to discard a fire and draw three 
probably looking for Guzma here. Uh, I think... So, if I Guzma kill Zorark, or I kill this active Lele, uh, I go to two prizes. So, I'm going to... So, I, uh, Gu I, I, I figure I take away a trade option here. I'm going to... I'm going to promote the Jirachi. I get to see a free Stellar Wish here. I get to take a trainer card. Um, I do see a switch. I'm going to take the switch, which is good to reset my Flare Strike. And um, so I, I'm going to go to two prizes here. So even if he does the, singer, the Stinger play, uh, I, I could GX and then he do, he would just need a Choice Band. Because he could just kill me with Lele Choice Band. So, um, also, my board, like, benching all those Pokemon as well kind of sucks because I play a Miltank, so I, Miltank does heal, so I could have at least tried healing away some of this 120 damage to avoid the Stinger uh, 3 prize knockout play combo. So I'm just going to touch a Choice Band just to get it out of my deck, and I think we're just going to see a Flare Strike here for 260 knockout. I'm going to go down to two prizes remaining. He's going to promote Lele. Choice Band does get the knockout here. Um, he's going to evolve into Dugong. And let's see. Let's see. So he could technically... He does attach the, the triple acceleration energy. He's going to Dedene away, dump his hand, and draw six. He clearly wants to find a Persian and a Zorark GX here. If he finds the Persian, he could find any two cards he wants. Because I did kill a GX on my, on my turn, so he could catwalk for any two cards. So, he hasn't even supported for turn. He's in great shape. Uh, he managed to stabilize his board, where now I'm not looking so great. I have a heavily damaged Reshizard here. I have, I'm bench locked. Uh, he could stick to his game plan, where me, if he stingers GXs, I don't think I could take my last three prizes in time um so he's gonna ultra ball we're probably gonna see a persian here so that we can see a catwalk as well um otherwise if he doesn't stick well, i mean he can't sting at this turn because he's already committed the tce to the dugong but what he can do is get choice band from the catwalk and then kill me with dugong and put 60 on something else Okay, so instead, he's going to just grab Zorak GX. Uh, we will be seeing a trade come back online here. So, yeah, Choice Band does take the knockout with the Dugong. Because currently, if he doesn't get Choice Band, the Dugong's only doing 120 to my active and 60 to a bench Pokemon. Which isn't a knockout. He, he probably has Choice Band in hand. Uh, so, he's, I think we're going to see a trade here. Yeah, he's going to trade away a nest ball, draw two. Let's see if he could hit the Persian for catwalk to just guarantee those pieces if he doesn't have choice band in hand already. Um, yeah. Not, so choice band... Yeah, he has to attack with the Dugon because otherwise I just win. Or energy Guzma. If he, energy Guzma wins me the game. Regardless, because uh, I could just attach to the Eevee Snorlax and then Guzma Zorark for my last two prizes. So, I'm wondering... Here, he's going to manually retreat into Z Zoro Dugong. And does he have Choice Band? He does have Choice Band. So we're definitely going to see a knock on this Reshizard. He's going to put probably 60, I would imagine, onto the the uh, Marsh Shadow or the Jirachi. Now, I think I have an energy in hand from when I fire Flinted. I, let's see if I can hit the Guzma. I, I'm already down two Guzmas. Maybe I don't even have Guzma available to me anymore. So that could be unfortunate. I actually think Guzma is my last prize. I think I remembered Guzma being my last prize, so. Because. Let's see. Yeah, Energy Guzma will do it for me. 
I definitely have the energy in hand. I have a Stellar Wish. If he kills this, I promote the Jirashi for Stellar Wish for the dig. So yeah, he's gonna use the Dugong attack, killing my active, and then putting 60 on Jirachi. So he's gonna go to three prizes. And I'm gonna promote Jirachi, draw for turn. So if I have several fire energies, at least I could attach, use Heat Factory, and then Stellar Wish to just thin out as much as I can. I think I if I could even get some cards out of my deck. So I'm gonna play a Nest Ball, see what's in my deck. Let's see if we get a visual. Do I even have a Guzma in the deck? I can't really tell, but I don't think I have a Guzma in deck. I know I burnt two already, and this deck plays three, I believe, so. Let's see here. I can't really get a good view of my deck. Is that Gu is that the Guzma, the, the second card of Guzma? I'm not even sure. So now I'm kind of in a in a tough position. I mean, I could get the um, I could get the I'm also down three welder. I could get down the mill tank here, right? And then I could just promote the EV Snorlax and oh no, I can't because I, I I might be down a couple switches as well. Just to heal, if I could heal that 60 from the Jirachi with Miltank and then somehow get Miltank at, I mean, without having Guzma, it's kind of tough too. So I played Ultra Ball. I'm just looking at my hand, seeing what I have available. Um, let's see what I grab. Do I even have any Pokemon? I think the Miltank is still available. I'm going to grab a Let Loose here. Uh, so, I don't know what Let Loose does here. I'm gonna okay, so I manually attach here, so I don't think healing the Jirachi is an option anymore. And but how can he take? How could he take three prizes? Is my question. Oh, a, a distortion door will kill Jirachi, and then he could possibly Persian with a choice band, either my Lele or Dedene. So. I let loose him because I figured, okay, so I'm probably let loosing here because in order for him to win the game, he needs to get evolution, energy, ch uh, choice band. Oh no, he don't, he don't even need choice band, just energy, evolution, Guzma. So he needs three cards, all right? And he's going to have one trade and a four card hand. So five card hand with top deck and a trade. And possibly two trades with the ditto being a thing. So I'm going to grab Acrobike. I'm just thinning out my deck here. I don't think Guzma's in in my deck anymore. So the, the reason that I'm, I'm going this route probably, or maybe I am and I'm just digging. So I'm gonna play the Acro Bike, I think. Um, yeah, I'm gonna play the Acro Bike. I see Ultra Ball and something else. Discard Ultra Ball. Uh, I don't think I have Heat Factory yet either. I'm gonna retreat. Yeah, so killing that Giratina for my first prize is going to come back and haunt me here, as you can see. Because this is going to give him a free prize with a Distortion Door now. So, good synergy with the Dugong. Yeah, so I'm just going to use Eevee Snorlax Attack. Go down to my final prize. And... Now, let's see if my opponent can get Energy Guzma Persian. He is, he's going to have a 5-card hand with a trade coming to him. He promotes the Ditto, telling me pro he probably has the Guzma already. We're gonna be seeing a Distortion Door, so we, we can't see a Dedene play here for further dig because he has a Distortion Door in order for him to take the three prizes because the Distortion Door will kill the Jirachi. So he's gonna first, I think, just use the Distortion Door here, setting up the Knockout. I mean, he does. He even gets to see a card here off the prizes, so it could be the prize card he rips here could be a part of his combo that he needs as well. Could be the energy or the evolution. So we do see the distortion door here. Most likely, we'll be seeing it go onto the Jirachi, and let's see. Okay, he wants it on the Dedene, which is good as well because Persian GX does 150. So Guzma just wins it. So Persian, Persian. TCE Guzma. He needs a three card hand. He's going to evolve his second. So he has a four card hand. We're going to see his first trade. He's going to draw two. Uh, 
Again, he needs three cards here. He has another trade available to him. Does he have it? So he's going to see a second trade discard a Lily. And then this is as far as... I mean, actually, I feel he can't catwalk. So he literally would need the combo here. He grabs the Persian. Does he have a TCE? Guzma. Okay. He had a DCE in hand. Yep. And we're going to see this, this. Yep. The slap back for 150. And he's going to take it, the game like that. Taking three prizes. So killing the guillotine haunted me there. Uh, it was a really close one. I'm actually going to be eliminated in round five of this tournament. And uh, my opponent is going to move on to the loser's final. But I hope you guys uh, enjoyed this 2019 tournament and my five rounds that I played. Deck is really fun. Uh, I would suggest playing it. It, it was the uh, similar to the Ability Czar deck that did well at that Nats, but I changed two cards. But uh, guys, again, thanks for watching. Please subscribe to the channel. Uh, follow me on social media, and thanks for watching.